In the past, I've been accused of fairly low effort videos. And if that's your opinion, then this one probably isn't going to change your mind. So we're going to plug this fire damaged Amiga motherboard in and see if there's any signs of life. Mark fixes stuff. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can get an instant quote on a variety of services or browse a library of talented makers designs, add them to your cart and have them delivered directly to your door. You see this was on the bottom of the racking next to my filming area and what happened was a lot of things collapsed on top of it, which kind of saved this part from complete destruction. Although the keyboard over the top was completely melted solid. And I cracked this open and I found this inside. And I'm actually wondering what would happen if we plugged it in. And I think we're gonna do that right now. It's a bit grubby, but this is my known working power supply. So we'll use this. And although I still haven't worked out how to get the OSD off of these screens, even though I've bought a remote control, we'll use this Sony Trinitron portable. First thing we're going to do is we're going to just plug into the front of the Trinitron. Stupid. Okay. So let's flip that around so we can see what's going on. Neither of these will do really. Doesn't really make a great deal of difference, does it? Okay, let's power it on. I hope this doesn't blow up my power supply. That would be pretty tragic, actually. Things I do just to get a bit of clickbait. Right, so. I bet this is where YouTube will place an advert break right now. Oh no, I was wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna walk around the other side of the camera so I can hit the power button so you can't see my wibbly wobbly tummy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it's some sort of video signal. What is going on? Nothing, nothing's going on, which is what is to be expected really when you have a fire damaged Amiga computer. But I wonder if we can, what the hell? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Talk about a survivor story. Um, yeah, the strobing on this is pretty bad, even though I'm on 50 frames per second. Might be the angle on the thing. Let me just see if I can change the frames per second. Okay, so I can't make a video, even a low effort video, I can't make a, a video showing that. And I didn't think that this was going to do that. So I didn't actually research how to film the screen with this camera. So I think what I'll do is I'll switch over to the um, beloved LCD panel that everybody hates. Actually looks really sharp and nice in real life. Okay, where are you? Uh, I'll take, yeah, we've got those. Let's pop those into the video in. I might as well pop the left and the right audio in. Not that it's making any sound, obviously, but... 
Okay. Uh, on. You watch, it won't work now. That's weird, it doesn't seem to work on the LCD monitor. I don't think we need to watch Beauty and the Beast. Video in. I plugged the right one in. Oh no. Uh, I've got the audio in the video, and the video in the audio. I thought the baking might have made it only work with Sony. Okay, does that look a bit more amenable to the eyeballs, I wonder? My God, literally, my goodness. Holy guacamole. Ha! Ah, just have a little pan of this board, I think. <laughs> this is amazing. I'll probably uh, do a little bit of close-up footage and stick it over the top. Amazing. I can't believe that. Uh, but now I'm a bit stuck of something else to do because I don't have a keyboard. Although, I've just had a thought. Bear with me one second. Retro Rewind sent me this Amiga diagram. <laughs> Let's put it in the machine and see what, what actually happens. Obviously, it's going to fail the keyboard check because that's melted slag. Genuinely thought that this board was dead. I thought we might get some fizzing capacitors. Plan was then, I was going to strip it down, um, put it in an ultrasonic cleaner and rebuild it with um, any parts that I could find in other machines. But for this to actually work is ridiculous. I mean, look, look at this. Look how bad it is. Look at the state of it. My goodness. Unbelievable. Please excuse my cat running around like a lunatic. Because it is a lunatic. I mean, this stuff is really embedded and ingrained in. Oh, crusty. Yes, I know I'm not using a chip puller because I just end up damaging chips with chip pullers. For a low effort video, this is my biggest score of all time. Wow. Look at the clean board underneath that. Oh my goodness. Underneath as well. So I think this was the um, Amiga that I recapped, actually, because that's my handwriting on there, I've just noticed. Underneath this soot. No sticker. Oh no, that is the sticker over the top. It's melted off of the quartz window, weirdly. Must have been the heat. A bit bad for this diagram. Oh, it feels really crunchy in the slot. It's a really dirty socket. I said it was low effort. Merry Christmas, everybody, by the way. Thank you so much for the support you've given me. And that's literally doing nothing. Right, let's try again. Well, that is the diagram.
Oh, of course, this is where it falls over. Didn't think of that, I haven't got a keyboard. But the fact that it even gets to that, it's pretty amazing. Come on, YouTube, come on. So what does this give me? Well, it gives me a, a working A600 board in a terrible state, which is quite an interesting prospect for Mark Fix's stuff because I have got an ultrasonic cleaner that that will fit into. So in the next video, we'll do that. I've literally got to drive to my in-laws now, which is why I really wanted to get this video out really, really quickly. Um, I haven't been able to do anything with the Amstrad GX 4000 because I'm waiting for parts, but things are coming through. The mail strikes are easing. The Christmas mail is dropping down. We'll see what happens. So yeah, I just want to say Merry Christmas. I'm going to get two videos out really early in the new year. Uh, to make up for the sort of lack of videos during December when I've done all the awful, awful paperwork. I won't go into that. But this is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff signing out, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and saying subscribe to get your fix. These guys on the screen supported me through thick and thin and they continue to do so and they're driving the channel. So if you want to be part of that, come to patreon.com forward slash Mark Fixes Stuff and there'll be all sorts of fun shenaniganizing. Hang on, I forgot to put the bloody gummy bears in the shot. You see, Dave, the Amiga was kind of a watershed moment in 16-bit computing. It really, really paved the way, I think, for lots of the things we see today. Give it a rest, you radish.